Hey everyone, my name is Jordi Adumi, and today I'm going to be talking about the Command Palette, which is a brand new Power Toys utility. It was just released in version 0.90 of Power Toys, which was released two days ago. So it's hot off the presses. And here you can see in the release notes directly on GitHub, everything's open source as always. There's a new module, Command Palette, created as the evolution of Power Toys run with extensibility at the forefront. I'm going to go into all of the reasons I'm really excited about this command palette and why I think the future is so bright for this module of Power Toys. So if you install Power Toys uh, brand new or you update it to 0.90, you'll notice this new toy. And again, it's called Command Palette. It's the evolution of Power Toys run. And here you can see the key binds to which it is cast. I have mine um, cast to alt space. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize these other windows and let's get into it. I click Alt Space, and here it is, the Command Palette. Looks great, looks like Power Toys Run, and if you're familiar, like Power Toys Run, it's a launcher. So you can go ahead and launch any application that you want. You can launch your um, terminal, or you can launch you know, this Power Toys. And so I do wanna show off here, you'll notice Power Toys, this command right here, says that it's an app. And so I'm launching an app when I invoke that command. But you'll also notice this kind of weird looking one, right? Power Toys CMD Pal, it's got this kind of GitHub issue thing going on. It's got this really long win control plus shift plus P, and it's got this. So like, what are all of those things? Well, I'll go through them one by one. This is a command provided by an extension. And so extensions are at the forefront of what the command palette does. This here is a global hotkey, meaning wherever I am in any context, I can invoke this command. Very cool. And here, this right here, PTCMD pal is an alias. And so I'll talk a little bit about what all of these are, but first let's actually invoke this command and let's see just how cool this thing is. If I invoke this command, look at this. I actually see a lot of issues from Microsoft Power Toys, open source, awesome and their corresponding tags with those really sweet UI features with those colors. And I can even see at the bottom, there's open link, there's copy URL, and last but not least, the triple dots, also accessible with control plus K. I can see all these different associated commands. I can view an item in the command palette. Look at this markdown view, incredibly cool. And I can go ahead and just open that link, right? And I can get directly to that issue. And of course, just like everything else, there is, you know, very quick, fast, lightning fast filtering, which is really, really cool. And so this is a command that is provided by an extension, right? That's provided by an extension. We're gonna go deep into extensions in just a second, but I wanna show off these two things that I just pointed out, right? Windows plus control plus shift P. I said it was a global alias, this thing right here, Windows plus control plus shift and P. So let's say I'm on GitHub, I'm doing whatever. I just hit Windows control shift P on the keyboard, I will directly go and invoke that command, which is pretty cool. I do wanna show off a different example of uh, an alias. So here you can see I've got these two downloads, downloads commands, and I'll talk about exactly how I got here, but notice this here, win plus shift D, that is the alias that I have. And so you can imagine what the downloads command does, but if I hit windows shift D, Notice that the downloads folder just opened for me from wherever I am in whatever context. This is incredibly cool. And we got here through the bookmarks. We got here through the bookmarks. I'll get there in just a second. I do want to show off this last thing I talked about, an alias. So what is an alias? An alias just means that if I type in the alias string, so in this case, you'll notice I typed in ptcmd pal, and that matches the alias on the command. It will be the topmost thing always. So if I search for something, I can associate an alias with it. So it's always easy to find. And on top of that, if you type in the alias and click space, you'll actually invoke that command as well. And so instead of having it be ptcmd pal, you can imagine if it were just the letters pt, you could get into that command very quickly. Now, I personally use downloads all the time. And so for me, just being able to do Windows Shift D and open up that downloads folder is a huge productivity boost. And I wanna talk a little bit about how I got there. So there's this concept of bookmarks in Command Palette. And in bookmarks, you can create whatever you want, right? You can create whatever named command you want. And so we can say this is test command for YouTube video. And here 
you can put in any URL or file path, right? So let's go ahead and let's say I wanted to just quickly be able to get to my source folder. So I can copy that path and I can just paste that in here. I'm gonna get rid of the quotations because I do not need those and I'm gonna click save. And now if I type in maybe UYT, okay, there's a lot of things that match, but if I do dash video, look at this. I now have this test command for my YouTube video, which will take me to my source folder, right? So let's go ahead and actually invoke this. It'll take me to all the code that I have inside of the source folder, um, which is really cool. Now, how do you get that global alias goodness, right? How do you get the, the sort of global hotkey? Well, it's really simple. There are all these different settings. So you can click on settings uh, for the command palette and you can actually see all the different extensions. So I talked about the extensibility. I talked about that GitHub command um, and I'll talk a little bit more about extensions, but here you'll see all the different extensions and one of the extensions built in that ships with the command palette is this bookmarks extension. And if I click on the bookmarks extension, it actually shows me all of the commands, right? And I just created this command for this video, this test command. Well, that test command you can go ahead and create your own alias. I could create an alias, which is test, and I could create a keyboard shortcut, which is Windows Control Shift and T, and I can save that. And so now you can see when I go ahead and type in test, you'll notice for this command that we just created, there's this global hotkey and this alias. It helps you get to that command a lot faster. One of the last things I wanna talk about is this extensibility, right? So this thing will help you get to anything you want faster because there are all these different extensions. So if you go ahead and look at the different extensions, I've talked a bit about this GitHub one, I'll talk about it a bit more, but there's all these different extensions, right? So let's say I wanna go ahead and install the Mastodon extension. You can see here who's published it, what the license is, some of the release notes, etc. But if I just click enter, I can go ahead and install that extension. Here you'll see the Mastodon extension for the command palette is installing. Notice this banner here, oh, it just updated before I could even get to it. It's finished installing, which is great fast install, and now I believe I should have Mastodon, right? So you just saw that, this explore Mastodon command. And I can go ahead and click enter, and I believe it'll probably, wow, cool, look at this. So now you can see a little bit of that UI templating too. I'll show in a different video all the different things, but this is just an extension providing all this awesome UI. So on the right-hand side, it's just basically a markdown as a details pane. And you also have this awesome list view with these great icons and tags. Um, and so that's the power of extensions, right? And if I wanted to be really quick at invoking Mastodon commands, I could use those same principles I just showed to invoke those commands. One thing I didn't talk about at all, which I cannot believe, is the file search. The file search is awesome. So let me really quickly address that because I don't want to end the video without talking about it. Here you can see I have a global keyboard shortcut, win plus shift plus F, and I have this alias file. This is very fast file search. If I type test, it just works. If I type go, it just works. It is really, really fast file search. Um, and again, you can create your own keyboard shortcuts and aliases that just work for files. And so the very last thing I wanna show off is the power quiz command pal command that we looked at together at the beginning of the video. Again, this command is just a list of all the issues coming from Power Toys that are labeled with the product command palette. And you can tell that's the case because if you look at the top level command, the subtitle actually shows the scope, which is very cool. But how did I get this command? Well, it all has to do with the extensibility model of the command palette. And I showed this before, you can actually install commands, again, directly within the palette surface. So I click enter, and now we'll see a list of all of the commands that are, excuse me, all the extensions that are available for the command palette. And the top extension available for installation is the GitHub extension for the command palette. So I went ahead and installed that. And you can go ahead and see in the settings within extensions here on the settings for command palette, this command has a bunch of different commands. This extension has a bunch of different commands, excuse me, keep saying that. You'll see one of the commands is this saved GitHub queries command. And so if I go ahead and type in saved GitHub queries, I will see a list of all the different commands provided by the GitHub extension, one of which is this saved query that I have, that is the Power Toys CMD pal query. But I can also go ahead and add another query, right? I could click add query, and I could provide any name that I want with any query string from GitHub. And so what that looks like is, if I go ahead and I just edit the existing one, 
you'll notice that I've named a command PowerToys-CMDPAL, and it has this query string here that limits the scope to be the exact issues that I want, and I've gone ahead and I've actually pinned that to the top level commands. On GitHub itself, you can always filter on an issues list within a repository by all of these different dimensions. One dimension that you might filter on is types. You might decide that you only want to see features. And of course, what you'll notice is once, I don't think that actually went through, let me click on feature. What you'll notice is the top query, right? The URL actually has all of these query parameters talking about state and the kind of dimensions that you'd need to slice and dice the data. You can just take this, copy and paste it, and put it in here. When you reopen it, it might be reformatted is what I've noticed. So the extension seems to reformat into this more um, readable state, I will say. But all I did was actually copy and paste this top level thing up here and just plop it into the command palette. So now, whenever I want to see that specific list of extensions, I can type PC, uh, PT CMD pal. Or because I have a little bit of a contrived example, I don't know if I'll ever actually use this, the Windows Control Shift P command. What I can do is let's say I actually close out all of Edge and I minimize everything. If I do that key set, Windows Control Shift P, I actually get brought directly into this command. I can click enter and I can quickly find whatever I need um, from this specific issues list that I am interested in. And so that is pretty much all I had for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, please follow. And I will be making more videos about the extensibility model exactly. And really cool, you can actually create an extension. This is a preview for the next videos. You can create an extension really easily and share it with the world. And I'm really excited to see where this project goes. There are definitely some bugs and some features that I'm hoping the team will prioritize and work on at some point. Um, but I'm really excited about this command palette and I hope you are too. Thank you so much and talk to you later.